my name is Miranda and today I'm here to react to episode 3 of Our Flag Means Death and I just have to take a moment to get cheesy and say thank you so much for all the likes and the comments on my previous reactions to this. I feel like this is honestly, and I knew this from like Tumblr and Twitter and seeing like all the love that everyone has, but I feel like this is just such a wholesome fandom, you know? I like that message of, you know, like maybe there's something that you really, really love and you're not necessarily great at it, but that doesn't mean that you still can't try to forge your own path and make your own way in the thing that you love. And I think that's really nice because I feel like so much nowadays it's like you have to be intrinsically good at something or you have to work really, really hard to be good just like the people who are good in the thing you like, you know? But Steed is doing it his own way. He's the gentleman pirate and he realizes, you know, he's never going to be the pirate that Blackbeard is. He's never going to be the pirate, the stereotypical image that you have of them, right? So he's going to do it his own way. And I really like that. I like that. And I'm excited to see what that's going to entail now that we are setting off on the high seas once again, now that we got the boat un uncrashed. Yeah. Oh, it's Izzy. Izzy out of anyone scares the shite out of me. Like, <laughs> we haven't met Blackbeard yet, but I already know they're building up his character to be like more than it is. But Izzy, I feel like is insane. <laughs> there he is. Yikes. It was not an ambush. It was three on three and you lost. He wants to meet him. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, I love how the reputation is spreading. Like they knew how they took the hostages before and now he knows he's like a gentleman pirate. I just like, I've said it before, I'll say it again. The way they are setting up Blackbeard's character, like I, you could write essays about it of how well it's done in like terms of being like, this is how you introduce a character. Like he's already been made a character in terms of just like all the stereotypes and all the imagery we've seen of him. And when we actually finally get to meet him and see like, I feel like I'm gonna be meeting a second version of the character already. He's still missing, oh my gosh. I really hope he's not dead too. You forgot about the remaining hostage state, come on. He looks so bad. Oh my gosh, what happened to him? Did they literally just forget about him? He was the nice one too. <laughs> just <laughs> throwing water. I think you know what they're gonna say. They're gonna kill him. Yeah, that's not a surprise man. Surprise man? Oh, I just made up a new one. That's actually a good idea that doesn't involve violence. And that's what Izzy was gonna do, right? Anyway. So I feel like this is like them being like, Good, good, pirate idea. The last time I visited a pirate island was with uh, the Mighty Nine and that did not go well if you know that. Oh, that's weird. He's always usually down for whatever. <laughs> Jim's like, ah, I don't care. Blackbeat is like, please no, save me from this. I, okay, he's kind of growing on me. I'll give you that. Like, he's funny. And the fact that he hasn't, like, completely ratted him out, I'm assuming about not actually killing that guy. Or maybe they just don't care because they're like, whatever, like, we have a hostage, we're alive, we're getting paid. But I kind of think he's funny now. Oh, that's why they're on the run? That's, and now you're going back to the place that, oh dear. I feel like Jim is getting a little big for their britches. Like, they're like, I can handle this. It's fine. Where is he? Um, do you want to answer? Oh, thank you. Please. Like, now you have a second person that could help you keep your secret, you know? No, run, run, run. Don't let them put you in. Run. Whew. That was good timing. He is very, very sweaty. Like, I feel bad. See, he's great at lying. I believe that a thousand percent. I feel like he's so nice to everyone. The only one that he ever gets, like, a little bit sharp with is Lucius. And I feel bad, because, like, did Lucius sign up for this? Or did Lucius get tricked into doing this? Oh no, you can't. No. Like, why would you wear head to toe white? Oh dear. They're gonna. 
I, no words, no words. Yep, see, that didn't last long. White is never a good color to wear, especially at a pirate island. Poor Lucius, he's been through so much, and now he's just going through even more. Why is he just walking around this man on the leash saying man for sale and thinking that's gonna work? Like, th it's honestly astounding that he has not just been stabbed, slipped in a pile of blood, something. Also the fact I just realized that Lucius and Steed somehow have matching outfits. <laughs> Was that planned? How much is a doubloon? Oh my gosh, this is like Julius Caesar. Remember that story about Julius Caesar where he got mad that the pirates ransomed him for so little? He was like, I'm worth more than that. No, sir. No, 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 no. We gotta get out of this. Literally. It's so funny to me because you could say there's something so like out of touch with Steed, right? And like chalk it up to like, oh, he's a nobleman. He's rich, blah, blah, blah. He hasn't had to like live in that world. But then like Lucius is obviously, if not the same caliber and level I mean but like obviously ran in that kind of society at probably just a lower level and like he is aware of all this stuff so I feel like it's just a steed thing that he's kind of unaware and childlike of certain things and I'm a little concerned how that's gonna serve him in a pirate world especially based on the evidence of him trotting around yelling man for sale with a bunch of pirates like that just doesn't make me feel great Jim! Jim! You're gonna give Alawanda, like, a stress attack. He's literally trying to keep you alive. He literally, like, treats it like it's, like, a day at, like, an amusement park, and I can't even with him. And the hostage was so annoyed. He's like, yeah, I'll look scared for you. Don't make him do this. If Lucius gets killed because of Steed, I'm gonna be so upset, I'm telling you. Like, this goes against all his baser instincts of, like, survival to do this. Okay, that was kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know if this is the crowd for it, but I would be like, oh, I like it. Ew, is that a drink? Please be a drink and not blood. Oh my gosh, this guy is on everything. And I never like his characters. <laughs> I wonder how long ago they had to go on the run then. Because the picture of Jim didn't seem, I mean, I guess it's hard to tell from a caricature, right? But it wasn't like they were like a kid or you know what I mean? Like they kind of looked around the same age. I see now that I've seen the picture where just sticking a beard and a fake nose on Jim isn't the best disguise, you know? Before I thought it worked, but now I'm like, anyone who knows what they looked like before is gonna be like, that's them in a fake nose and a beard. <gasps> Leslie Jones, I love her. She's perfect as a pirate queen. Like, that is who I would cast. Look at her velvet outfit, I love it. Uh, she's like, no, you're gonna sit right next to me, buddy, so I can keep an eye on you. Thank you. So Jim killed one of her husbands. She talks in third person. I love that. Ooh, that's a cool name. Like, that's a name of, like, someone who can kill a husband, you know? And they didn't even change their name that much, though. They just called him Jim. Like, the dots are gonna be so easy to connect if you know anything about them. Oh, I'm worried. I'm worried for the staggering amount of hubris that Jim has displayed in coming into this place. Okay, okay. I don't know if she'll believe it, but okay. Ew, it is blood! I also feel like there's no better metaphor for all of this than, like, Steed still being perfectly clean and Lucius being the one covered in blood. That just sums up the relationship, right? I feel like it never, never affects him in a way. <laughs> He's like Teflon. I don't know if I would drink anything from this place, in all honesty. Ew! Wait, what? Why do they eat body parts and drink? Oh, that's so nasty. Oh, jeez. How long has he been following them for? I mean, I'm with you, bud. I don't like you, but I'm with you on that one. That's a power move. Oh my gosh, you're getting a little big for your britches, my bro. Like, that's gonna come back to bite you eventually when you tell it to the wrong person. He started a fight. He's been here less than an hour, I would assume, and he started a fight. Oh, she really has um, his body just propped up like that. That's interesting. Oh no. How are you going to explain this one? Oh. Does it... Oh. 
Oh, Jimmy, Jim, Jim, how are you gonna get out of this one, my dude? She's gonna realize the nose is fake and the beard is fake when she starts touching them more. <gasps> Uh-oh, he broke the nose jar juice. Oh, the nose juice jar, whatever it's called, I don't want to think about it. Ew, ew, he's picking them up. Ew. You're gonna get your nose cut off, dude. Hope you don't mind not smelling anything ever again. Now's not the time, Lucius, but thank you. Hey, yeah, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> that's gonna be his real nickname. Oh, they're married too? I am shocked. How many husbands does she have exactly? 20, they said, right? Well, 19 now, right? I know, we're all shocked. We are all shocked. I'm telling you, every time I watch someone end up in a pirate island, they get banished. It's just a thing. Lucius is like, happy to be banished, get me the F off this island, bye, never see you again. No, you didn't. You said your boss. You didn't say who it was, and you also didn't fight that hard to change his mind. <laughs> He's like, I love it. Someone who's not afraid of me. Oh my gosh, the, the hostage is trying to comfort him. That's so sweet. How did he handle himself with Jackie? If anything, this guy stepped in to say that Blackbeard wanted him. <laughs> Lucius is like, no, let's not follow this guy. He's had a day, okay? <gasps> oh, that's so nice of him. How did he get that? No, oh, well, I guess he is pretty useful. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, kind of, because they tried to kill you less than 12 hours ago. But you know what? You do, you, Lucius. I'm not going to judge you. You got a new lease on life, bud. How nice of him to get the knife back for them, though. That was really sweet. They're bringing food? Oh, my gosh. Oh, Roach is the cook? I thought they just made Roach the cook when the guys were coming over to make it look fancy. But he is the cook. That's kind of cool. Oh, no. He double-crossed them. <gasps> He stabbed him. How is he gonna live? You'd die from like a paper cut back in these days with infections. Oh no. Oh, that's right. The rest of them don't know. <laughs> Look at Lucius. It's just like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay, dude. Gross. Yeah, I kind of knew she would. The disguise is not great when you know who you're actually looking for. What the? What was that? Dude, the last five minutes of this episode, I'm like, what's going on? Oh no, he fell anyway. Someone's gonna cut him down. He's like, literally, his eyes are bugging. He's dying. <gasps> oh, that's sweet that his last memory is of his wife and kids. But it I, might also be like his regret, so I don't really know. Oh, thank goodness someone cut him down, finally. I was like, the dude's dying. Any rescue mission you have going on is gonna fail terribly. Also, he's probably still gonna die because his guts are bleeding out, but you know. <gasps> Here he comes, the man, the myth, the legend, Blackbeard! He's just so happy that someone's heard of him. He's Finally we get to see his face! Literally he's dying and he's just so excited that someone actually knew who he was and wanted to meet him. <laughs> like, it's so cute. I'm so excited now though that black bear has been introduced because i've been so excited to meet him obviously excited because taika plays him like duh but also just excited because he's been such a strong presence without being like actually on the show and it's just gonna be so interesting i think especially with the dynamic between like izzy and all them because like izzy was like yeah i told him who you were and like i laid it all out and like we saw it and I know you fucking didn't. Like, you were just like, my boss wants to meet with you. But I'm just so excited. I'm still worried about Steve, though. Like, how are they gonna... Well, you know how. They're gonna have to sew. So I guess it's good that someone knows how to sew. After all, Black Pete, isn't it? That was such a crazy last few minutes, though. Like, that guy betraying them, him getting stabbed, and then the attack, and like, oh my gosh, I just feel like the come down from this is gonna be like, how is the next episode gonna go? Because it's just gonna be... So, so crazy, but I'm just so excited that Blackbeard has officially been introduced and, like, is so obsessed with finding Steed and meeting him. It's actually kind of cute. Like, why are you so obsessed with me? You got a crush or something? <laughs> like, I love it. So, yeah, if you have seen this episode, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Also, make sure this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!